go ahead and do the, the coffee. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. Can I hear people? No. Ah, we're just. This is just chat. Can they see me? Yes. Morning, everybody. Afternoon. Um. I still have. I still have. Uh, I woke up with this hair, so it is what it is. Just chat. Oh, there. See me? Wait, there's a weird delay. Morning, everybody. Still have bags. Morning bags under my eyes. I was up till really, really late in the studio with. Um, I'm gonna turn the volume down on this. Sorry, guys. With uh, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> working on music and stuff. Um, let's get this a little bit brighter. Sorry, I'm doing this from my hotel room. Whoa, there we go. That's bright. Okay. It was a late. It was a late night. Um. Yeah. So does uh does anybody have any questions? Thank you. You love the songs. Some Japanese happening here. Some. Where are you guys from? Yeah, I definitely need a coffee. Argentina. What's up, Argentina? Love Argentina. <laughs> John Bell. What's up, man? Hi from Portugal. Hi from China, New York, Russia. I've worked with, I worked with Dima Bilan way back in the day, Russian artist. I also, my first cut was with Tattoo. I've worked with Russian artists, Tattoo. That takes me way back. <clears throat> What's my favorite song on human? There's so many questions. Taiwan, Saudi Arabia, Belarus, Mexico, Malaysia. Wow, UK, Honduras. Can you hand me my sunglasses? <laughs> it's literally, after you make that, so it's so bright. I'm like at the sun and I've got this light and everything. Um, you can just put it in the main, the, the, the regular coffee cup. Sorry, I'm like having coffee being made right now. Um, Southeast Asia, from Southeast Asia to Brazil to Missouri to Kuwait. See, this is why I love our fans because um, they're global. I think we're, we might be, I think we've always kind of been more successful outside of America even than inside of America, which was the goal from day one because we wanted to travel. Um, we wanted India, Malaysia, hi. Um, so I guess you can ask me some questions. I, I guess that's the way this goes. You can ask me some questions. Um, I'd love to answer questions if you have any. Feel free to ask them. The, the scrolling is so fast it's hard to keep up, which is a good sign. Um, and hold that thought. I got to put my, my glasses on just because it's so bright. One second. Okay. Coming right back. I'm grabbing my glasses. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I'm back. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's better. Ecuador representing, how do you come up with so many good hooks? Okay, that's a good question. So, um, yeah, so thank you. I have coffee now. Praise God. Okay. How do I come up with good? I'm just going to read questions as I see them, okay? Uh, answer, I'll answer a couple, a couple questions on this. What's my favorite song on the album, and how do I come up with so many good hooks? Um, first of all, my favorite songs on the album are typically the newer ones. Um, so like back in the day, I would have told you Ships because that was probably the first song we worked on. But like recently, um, 
I love distance. Uh, I love where it sits in my voice. I love distance. Um, it's so high and, and the way I'm singing, it reminds me of the, of sting a little bit or of the police. And I just, it's so different for one Republic, right? The energy and everything in the lyric, um, good hooks. I don't know how I come up with uh, so many good hooks. Um, I think that maybe if I'm my skill set, you know, I have varying degrees of things that I can do in music um, to varying degrees. But I think that um, um, my favorite video shoot was Run for the album. By the way, I just saw that come through. Although Rescue Me, I wrote the treatment for Rescue Me and that kid and like the power behind it. So man, Rescue Me and Run are a tie. Um, so I just do lots of. I've written so many times. It's kind of like if you if you cook, if you're a chef and you make dishes for 20 years, the longer you do it, the better your dishes get, the better the food. So I, I just, I'm a sucker for catchy melodies. Um, how long make for the new song? How long take you? Run was the newest song we wrote uh, on the album. And that didn't take long to write at all. I also love Take Care of You. That's my, that's my other song that's my favorite. Take Care of You is probably, Take Care of You and Forgot About You, I listen to the most on the album. Um, I'm reading Why Human when you already have a song called Human. Well, we have a song called Human on Oh My My, which you should listen to, but that's really where I got the idea for the album title. And so many of our songs are about being human. So, um, you know, I'm trying to keep up with the questions, y'all. Uh, will you come to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia again soon? Um, yeah, if we get an offer there, we'll come, I'm sure. I think we probably will. <laughs> COVID nurses here, grateful for you. Love you, COVID nurses. Thank you for just being in ground zero for so long. Um, Taiwan, uh, we would play Taiwan in a heartbeat. We're waiting on um, the Taiwanese promoters to offer us a, a gig. COVID has made it very difficult. Um, take care of you. I hope, take. will it become a single? I hope take care of you as a single. Um, I, I love that song. The world decides what singles are now. You know what I mean? We put the stuff out. Nobody can predict what a hit record is anymore, um, unless it's like on Bieber or Little Nas X. It's a little, it's a little easier to predict, or Ariana Grande. But for all the other 99.999% of artists, it doesn't matter how big you are anymore, how successful you were in the past. You could drop an album and none of the songs connect. So I'm grateful that that, that Rescue Me. We've done over a billion streams. Run. Um, and is doing will do will do a billion, and it's weird to measure things in terms of streams and billions now. But it's the only way we know as an artist if a song is connecting globally is if it streams. That's just kind of the only way we know, for better or worse. Um, we combine a lot of genres, but we main, maintain consistency. That's hard to do. Um, you know, it's really hard to do that. I'm trying to read this full question. Um, it, yeah, it means you got to write more songs than you use and get rid of them. What's Japan, what should I do when I'm not feeling well? Get outside, exercise. That's the one thing I know that works. Get outside and exercise. Run, 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 run. Someday video shoot was uh, a lot of fun. It was shot in Malibu. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch up on your notes here. There's so many questions. Um, how does it feel to have 3 billion views on one of your videos? Um, weird because I wrote that treatment to that video um, in a hotel room on a napkin um, with James Lees the director in London and I never imagined that it would go from a napkin to the most I think we're the, the most viewed video of any band or second first or second maybe Maroon 5 beat us I don't know will we pl be playing human in Madrid yes we'll be playing songs in Madrid um, from human India love you India would love to get to India we already have most of the next album done. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to try to make you guys wait anymore. I'm so sick of like four or five years and all this stuff. Um, we're ready to get new stuff out in 2022. You should definitely come to Moscow show with a large poster. I would appreciate that. Madrid, yes, we will be playing stuff in Spain, Sevilla, um, uh, India. Love you guys. Love India. Smoke and Mirrors is my favorite album. I don't know. I don't know what Smoke and Mirrors is. <laughs> Sorry. What's your favorite 
from that album. I don't know what Smoke and Mirrors is. Um, we never did an album called Smoke and Mirrors, so I, I have no clue what that album is. Sorry. Hungry, we love you too. We were going to play Budapest. Um, and then because of COVID, it, it really we, it cost us the show. What was your, was this your favorite album to make? <clears throat> um, my favorite album process ever was probably Oh My My because it was written all over the world. There were songs done in Switzerland and Japan and like probably 20 different countries that we worked on Oh My My. That's probably why I didn't even promote um, Oh My My or tour really on it. I was so exhausted from making it and promoting it that it destroyed all the fun. So by the time I got to out Oh My My, the album, I had nothing left. I had nothing in me. I, one of the saddest two years of my life was 2016 and 2017 because I spent so much of my life on Oh My My and there were so many good songs on there that we never got to because I just, I was done. Um, when will we get more songs with Kygo? We're already talking about that. Kygo and I work well together. We're going to do more. David Guetta, David Guetta is also doing a, a song for us right now, or a collaboration. What happened to West Coast? West Coast is, people keep asking about this song. West Coast is one of my all-time favorite top five One Republic songs we've ever done. The reason it hasn't come out yet is because it's such a unique sound. It's so different than all the normal One Republic stuff. It's like the Beach Boys, Mamas and the Papas, the Gorillas. Like it's such a unique sound. We, we decided to make a whole album that made sense for West Coast. And that's the album we've been working on for the last four months. Um, that's, I said I have another album's worth of songs. West Coast is one of the key singles on that album. Um, and the sound of that album, we're slightly switching up to, to, to match with West Coast because we think the song is so good. Um, sometimes you write songs that, that it takes a while to get to them because you don't want to put it out on an album where it makes no sense. And you also don't want to put it out in the middle of a pandemic when you know nobody's paying attention. What is the hardest song to record in human? Um, what was the hardest song to record on human? Someday. Because Someday in Ships. Ships was written, we started that song five years ago in Switzerland on in a bus bouncing through the Swiss Alps. I remember writing that song on the bus on tour. Um, and it just evolved, evolved, evolved until what it is now. We couldn't figure out how to finish Ships. So that's why it took. it was so hard. Someday was incredibly difficult. For me personally, the, we started writing it in Thailand, in Phuket, actually, I remember. And then um, we didn't finish it until <laughs> a month ago. And the song was finished, the lyrics were finished, but musically, Someday made me really nervous because I almost felt that it sounded too much like Native. It sounded too much like, it. this is going to sound weird, but I felt that it almost sounded too One Republic. Like... Of course we would do that song. It sounds so much like something we would do. And I tend to shy away. If, if something sounds too much like something we would do or like reminds me too much of another song that we've already done, I don't, I tend to shy away from it. So I almost didn't let Sunday be on the album because I was afraid of, no, I wasn't afraid of the lyrics or the melody. It was more, the music just felt it was like, this sounds like it should be on native. Um, but then I realized that, um, I realized that, uh, Human is really, there are songs from each, there are songs from each, uh, from the whole album that uh, some songs are like Dreaming Out Loud, some songs are like Waking Up, Oh My My. We really touch on all the different albums. I'm going to keep going through questions. Thank you for the Today Show comment. Um, you can watch the Jimmy, F I was on Jimmy Fallon last night, and you can actually just Google Ryan Ted or Jimmy Fallon, and the, it, the video from last night will pull up. The interview and all that. Talon, Estonia. We're definitely coming there. Um, love from San Francisco. Love you too. See you in Spain. Could you make a tour? We are doing a full tour in South America on, on Human. For the first time, a full South American tour. It's just stupid how long it's taken us to do that. Is it safe in Singapore? I don't know. I hope so, because we, we'd love to go there. Um, the album cover story from Japan... Uh, we wanted a statue that, that looked like it was from 2,000 years ago, but we wanted it to be 
something that looked modern in a way. So it's glitching. The whole statue is glitching. And that's kind of like humans. You know, we're, we all glitch all the time. Denmark. Yeah. During the pandemic, I, I, want, I wanted to go disappear in Copenhagen. It's one of my favorite cities. So we're definitely going there. How do I sing that high? <laughs> uh, years and years of, um, years and years of singing higher and higher and higher, listening to a lot of the police. I don't know if you guys know who the police are because they're, they're an old band. They're actually, they broke up, I think before I was even <laughs> born. So that's how old they are. But if you listen to it, listen to the police, Roxanne. And then you'll understand when I started singing high. And the Beach Boys, uh, Sloop John B. All of those songs are so high. And Stevie Wonder. So a lot of my favorite artists, Stevie Wonder, Beach Boys, The Police, they all sing very high. And I just like how my voice sounds up there. So that's why Distance, I think, is the song, the highest I've ever sung. I'm going to keep my distance from you. I think that's where it is. All right. How did you come up with Someday Song? I wrote it, um, I was going for a run in Thailand and we had worked on the music back at the house we were renting, the band, we all stayed in the same house in Phuket and I was going for a run and the lyrics hit me just like that. I don't know what else, what else to tell you. Just the whole chorus just like, just hit me. Um, we're coming to Mexico. Yes, we wanna play the festival. I can't speak Japanese, but thank you. Thank you in Japanese. Arigato Um <clears throat> India. How can I get a voice as good as yours? Sing every day. <laughs> uh, India. Yeah, I definitely want to come to India. I'm actually, my company, my beverage company is, we're building clean water wells. Wells in villages in India that don't have clean water. I've been going in there for the last 18 months and building wells. Um, so people have water. Um, and it's my my uh, beverage company, that's what we do. Every time we sell a can of Mad Tasty, we donate 12 ounces of clean drinking water. So uh, I have, I have many reasons to go back to India. I want to visit the wells and the villages and we want to play some concerts. So please come to Las Vegas. If you are in the United States, get yourself on a plane ticket, September 4th and 5th, come see us. It'll be the first time we do uh, a bunch of new songs off of Human. Love from Ecuador, love you too. How can you combine a lot of genres and make consistency? Um, that's if I can do anything. That's that's one of my one of my skill sets is combining genres. All right, I'm gonna scroll down because uh, to the bottom of, of questions. Here we go. Any advice to sing as high as you can without hurting yourself? I I, I don't have advice for that. I'm sorry. Um, hi Emily, Attaway, how you doing? Uh, we are coming to Argentina. Yeah, Bright Live. I'm going to be doing Bright, which is an educational platform. I'm on Shameless Plug if you want to learn how to write songs and produce uh, at least the way that I do at all. Um, go to monthly.com. Monthly.com and you can sign up for um, songwriting lessons um, and producing. I'm also going to be on Bright, B-R-I-G-H-T, Bright Live, doing just like this, live interviews and questions and, and answers. Yes, um, Ali Sherlock. I love Ali Sherlock. Um, can't Stop, why didn't we release it as a single? Because we're freaking clowns, we're idiots. Can't Stop should have been. It's the biggest mistake we made on Native is not making Can't Stop a single. That was absolutely a hit record and we just, we didn't make it a single because we're, sometimes we're idiots. We don't pick the right singles, by the way, if you haven't realized that. Um, my favorite song to write on the album? was Take Care of You. Um, I don't know why. I just loved writing that song. Loved it. Um, all right. Duncan Lawrence, we met on Instagram. How does anybody meet? Instagram. Instagram, TikTok. I just sent him a direct message. I DM'd him. I was like, yo, we should work together. And then we did. And we wrote a crazy good song. Alec Benjamin, same deal. Um, who else? DJ Snake. 
same deal. I, we, he DM, uh, Instagram DM'd me and we were just DMing back and forth. So um, David Guetta, I mean, most of the artists that I work with now, um, Jessia, the artist I signed out of Canada, I just DM'd her like, yo, you're crazy. We should work Martin Garrix. That'd be incredible. I love Martin. How do you deal with burnout? Don't get burnout. Take vacations. I'm taking twice as many vacations as ever uh, in my life right now. By the way, people in Europe, if you want to come to a show, we were going to do a full European tour um, this September, October, and we had to move it to um, we had to move it to the spring because of COVID Delta. But we are playing two shows in Spain, one in Madrid and one in Sevilla. I hope it's not Seville. I think it's Sevilla. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Sevilla, and which I've been to and is gorgeous, and Madrid. So if you can get on a train or a plane or an automobile, get yourself to Spain. We're playing there. What are the dates? September 28th. We're playing Spain. Um, I'm not sure which city. I'll get you the dates, but you can get a train into Spain. We're playing. Here we go. We're playing Las Vegas. September 4th and September 5th at the Zappos Theater in Las Vegas. So any Americans, get on an airplane, come see us in, in uh, Las Vegas. We're playing Madrid at the Wizink Center, September 28th, Madrid, September 29th, Sevilla, Plaza de España, Plaza de España, or España, depending on where you're from. Um, September 29th, Sevilla, Plaza de España, in Spain. Come there. Spain, 28th, 29th of September, Madrid, Sevilla, and then October 1st, Porto. We're playing the North Music Festival in Porto, Portugal, the North Music Festival. Um, yeah, all right. Only got a few minutes left, and then we can go back and watch Someday again. Um, ships, the idea behind ships. Um, will one Republic ever write a sad song? Nick, we've written sad songs, bro. Come on. We've definitely written some sad songs. Um, <clears throat> the idea behind ships, it was a conversation with God, if you think of it that way. That came, it was very existential. I'm standing here tonight, knocking on your door. I'll, I'll, I'll be anything you like if you can tell me what I'm here for. Do we go on and on and on and on? Like, do we live forever after this life? Do we go on and on and on? Like, you know, where, where do we go? And it's like, if you could ask God, that's kind of one of those things. Like, I'll do whatever you want if you can just tell me what I'm here for. What song <clears throat> do I hate to sing live? Um, that's a really good question. Like, I, I don't love singing all the right moves. Um, be, just because I've done it too many times. So we don't, sometimes we don't play that song. Um, I never, I love the song Rich Love, but I've never really enjoyed singing it live because it just doesn't make sense live. Some songs just don't make sense live, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Indonesia. A new One Republic album. Yeah, we're three fourths done with it. I can tell you that much. And I'd like to get it out, you know, in the, in the first half of next year. That's my goal. Um,. I already said hi to Emily Hathaway. Um, can we expect some human merch? Merchandise, yes. Mad Tasty will be available in Portugal. Yes. We just now became av available around the United States everywhere, just literally in the last month. It takes a while to get stuff overseas. I'm expecting human merch. Can you say... Ah, Sawadi. Sawadi Krup. Let's... Yeah. More Songland when uh, hopefully uh, we just met with the new company we think is going to put it out so we're excited. Um, yes, we're coming to Central America. Um, uh, how does it feel to have come so far since apologize? I don't know. I'm pinching myself. I can't believe that we. I mean, my goal was to be a band for 20 years though, right? And so I'm subtracting. I'm subtracting COVID from that. Meaning COVID doesn't count. So at least 20 years, which gives us another at least almost a decade. Um, yeah, we're going to be coming back to Sydney. We need Australia to open up. Uh, the, the COVID, the COVID of it all just 
really sucks and has been messing up all of our tour stuff and it sucks. Um, uh, I'm going to answer three more questions, okay? Three more questions because we've hit the 1230 mark. So we're going over, what do I think about, uh, let's see, come to Minsk. We've played Minsk, Belarus before. We would absolutely play it again. Um, we're with One Direction. Are we working with One Direction? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm working with Niall. Um, I've worked with Harry before. Uh, let's see. I'm going to answer three good ones. Here we go. How do you write such, such songs by Sambit Panda? How do you write such songs that feel so relatable? Um, that's because those are the only type of songs I try to write. I don't, I don't like to write... Um, there's a lot of pop records that, that are big hits that by other bands that, um, that I don't, that we could not put out. Right. Um, so most of the songs that we write lyrically, it takes me a long time to write one Republic songs because I'm having to write about these topics that are very human and emotional, but I don't want the songs to be cheesy. I still want them to be extremely catchy. I want them to be, great songs that people want to hear over and over again. Um, and, uh, but I, I focus mostly on things that are relatable. I tried, that's all I try to write. All right, here we go. Two more songs or two, two more questions. Hi from France. What is the title of the song for the upcoming movie? Um, I can't say the full title, but I'll say one of the words in the title is one of the phrase one of the phrases is not not worried so I'll leave it at that I've signed a contract I can't say what it is just yet but it's a big big biggest movie we've ever been a part of um, last couple future looks good was uh, will you play future future looks good in Brazil because you asked I will do it and the reason I will play future looks good in Brazil I love that song is because Future Looks Good was written in Brazil. It was written in Rio. How about that? When we played Rock in Rio, that's it was the whole thing. I wrote it on my hotel bed in Rio. And we recorded it. I think we recorded it in Rio as well. We did two different... No, Sao Paulo. We recorded two different songs in Sao Paulo, as I recall. Um... Here we go. Dominican Republic. Love you, Dominican Republic. Ecuador. How come Ships and Tides is separated into different tracks? Um, from Brett Harris. What's up, Brett? Um, uh, because it's <clears throat> Ships was its own song um, from day one. It was a, a song that we all was near and dear to all of us that we knew we had to finish and we held on to it. And Tides is really hearkening back to um, the the Waking Up album. If you think about the song Waking Up, and then it goes into that string, one of my favorite string moments of all time. It just felt like two different things. Um, this, you know, it says in the song, it says, um, you know, basically the song is about like ships rise and sink with the tides. Um, and the tide, the music in that sense, is rising and rising and rising and rising. So it's it's a musical metaphor for, op, you know, things are going to get better. It's optimistic. <sighs> Can I speak Arabic? Um, Salam alaikum. Yalla! <laughs> um, Arabic is a beautiful language. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to answer my final question. Can't wait to see you in Portugal. Remember, September 29th or September 28th, Madrid. We're playing Madrid, September 28th, whatever other country. Now, look, we're going to do a full European tour spring of 2022. We already have it, all the dates booked. The reason we're doing these dates in Madrid and Sevilla and Porto, Portugal now or in September is because we couldn't we couldn't fit those the routing of those cities didn't work for our tour in in the spring no matter how hard we tried the Spain the dates in Spain did not line up with the tour it's the only country where the dates didn't work the arenas were already booked so 
this will be the Spain part of next spring's tour is happening now. So you can come see, uh, we're going to do so many songs. We're going to do some interesting, a couple interesting cover songs that are going to, I think, hopefully blow people's minds. Um, it's a completely new tour, new, new art, new merch, new everything. Um, I would encourage you to come to the two shows in Spain for sure. Come to Madrid. And if you haven't been to Spain, you haven't lived. Spain is one of the most beautiful places on earth. So get to Madrid, September 28th. And then while you're there, why don't you shoot down to Sevilla? Sevilla is gorgeous. One of the oldest cities in Spain. And we play Sevilla the day after we play Madrid, September 8th or September 28th, Madrid, September 29th, Sevilla. Please come see us. And then Portugal, we're going to see you at the North Music Festival, October 1st uh, in Porto. Obrigado. All right, last question. Thank you. I hope you're crying for this album. Um, last question. I'm going to go to the bottom here, see some new questions. Wow, this question's coming in. Glasgow, London. How do you, uh, whoa, these questions are coming in so fast. Marrakesh. Um, I'm going to have to stop it on Singapore, uh, Indonesia. Madrid, Glasgow, Manchester, London. Yes. All right, here we go. I'm going to pick a question. When are we publishing dates for the European tour? Do we know? They're already on set. Oh, for in the spring? Yeah. The European dates. Okay, go to OneRepublic.com now. All we've clearly done a poor job of announcing this. We need to re-announce this. Uh, go on OneRepublic.com now. All of our dates, all of the concert dates in the spring for Europe, are on sale now. They are all on sale now, and I think it's already like two thirds, over two thirds sold out. So you need to hurry and get those tickets. Go on OneRepublic.com, find your city, and come see us in Europe. We can't wait. This is our first major tour in a long time, so please come to Europe and come see us. Um, in the meantime, come to the shows in Spain. If you want a preview, come to the shows in Spain. Um, we would absolutely love that. Um, would you let fans choose a One Republic song for the set list via the text method? Okay. I think this might love you, South Korea. I'm actually doing a feature film, a movie idea that I sold to, I partnered with CJ Entertainment. Um, they did, they produced the movie Parasite. They won the Oscar for Parasite. And I, I partnered with them and I'm doing a movie, uh, based music based movie that's going to be filmed in LA and mostly filmed in Korea, in Seoul, Korea. So we're working on that film right now. I'm very excited. Um, involving K-pop and a lot of different uh, music. But um, I just worked with Blackpink a few weeks ago and I love them and I'm working uh, with Twice and a handful of other um, Korean acts. Okay, so um, say ter, ter, <laughs> ter Makasi. Ter Makasi? Yeah, Ter Makasi. Um, okay, last question, guys. Actual last question. Lugano. I've been to Lugano. My, I honeymooned. My honeymoon was in Lugano, Switzerland, if you don't know that, by the way. Lago Lugano. And I went to, uh, where'd I go? I went to the island that's in the lake, and then I drove to Como. But I've been to, La I spent a lot of time in Lago Lugano. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so last question is going to be, here we go. <clears throat> How do I want to be remembered in the music industry? I would like to be remembered as someone who wrote songs that changed people's lives and made them feel something or make a decision about their life, a, hopefully a positive decision and that helped people or that helped people heal from something. We've met people who battled cancer and they used I lived as their song every single day. That was their mantra. Um, you know, I, so that's how I want to be remembered as somebody who, in terms of the music industry, um, um, as somebody who wrote songs that changed people's lives and, and impacted billions of people. Cause when you write, a, a, that's the thing about hit songs. It's not about the money. It's not about the fame. 
a hit song, when you have a true hit song, the best part about it is that the whole world falls in love with it. And so when you've got people in Kathmandu or Sri Lanka or Wellington, New Zealand or Cape Town or, you know, Buenos Aires, um, you know, Santiago, Chile, Canada, you name it. I'm naming all the countries, Russia, <laughs> Europe. When you have a song that everyone in the world loves, that's the single greatest feeling in the world. That's why people want hit records. That's why I try to write better songs every time because I just want to connect with the world and then I want to see the world. So I want to be remembered as somebody that loved writing songs that changed people's lives and then then loved visiting those people around the world and, and seeing where they live and where they're from and, and, and falling in love with their culture because that's what I like to do. I like to fall in love with the places that you live like Singapore and Indonesia and Lugano and Thailand and you know um, everywhere we go you know we we find places and things that we love in all these places from Brazil to Thailand um, hi to got <laughs> somebody said okay love you guys thank you so much um, this is album release day so if you can imagine it I have a billion other things I have to do um, and um, yeah this has been great. Thank you so much for the reaction uh, of the album. And I like the, the question, would you add a song to your set list using our texting method? Like if we could, te using community.com, we text you, you know, what song off one of our older albums should we add to our set? I think that's a great idea. So I think we might actually do that. Um, I'd love to be able to have the fans tell us which song we should do off one of our older albums. That would be awesome. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me in New York City. Um, you can see my my beautiful, beautiful view of uh, Central Park in Manhattan. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for enjoying Human. I'd love to, you know, keep listening. Tell me what songs you like the most. I'm dying to know. You guys should pick what the next single is. Someday just came out. We'll probably promote one more song off the album. I'd love to know what you guys think the single that should be, if there's any other song in the album that should be. Um, I'd love to know that. You know, I might, I think what I might do is go through the next week or so and post like 60 second clips of all the songs on my Instagram, uh, my Instagram page. So go to at Ryan Tedder and I'm going to post some songs over the week and I want to know whichever songs get the most comments. That tells me a lot, right? That's, that's the future of picking, picking singles. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. Hope to see some of you Europeans or around the world in Madrid, uh, September 28th, and Sevilla, September 29th. You Americans, get your butts to Las Vegas, September 4th and 5th. I want to see every one of your faces there in Las Vegas.